I told y'all, I told y'all, what's going on Profiteers, hope all is well, Mario Payne with another episode of Convos with your CFP in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida, I told y'all, I told y'all about the ETF that I thought was going to go up because inflation cannot be this high forever, and as Jay Powell continues to talk, and as the worries about rates continue to go down, kind of, it looks like rates will stop being risen. Hopefully, hopefully not. But my baby right now, at least TMF, rocking and rolling. So we're going to go over what Jay Powell said, why commercial real estate's in trouble, and why that might help our T to the M to the F, not BMF, but TMF. Before we get started. As always, comment below, like, share, subscribe as we continue to grow. Of course, I'm a CFP, not your CFP, but on these YouTube streets, I give information and you can do what you want with it. But let's hear from Jay Powell and see why commercial real estate might be a sign of the future. Well, joining us now with his outlook for the real estate sector is Rudin Management CEO Bill Rudin. The company is one of the largest private real estate companies in New York, in New York City, 32 properties. He looks so smug, don't he? Just look. <laughs> I was destined to be here. His, this ain't his first rodeo. He too smug. Man, is this your seat? Totaling nearly 16 million square feet. It's good to have you back on, Bill. Good morning. So should the Fed be worried about commercial real estate? No question they should be worried. There's about a trillion and a half dollars of debt coming due in the next couple of years. And with the higher... One trillion and a half of debt. And our debt's out of control now. <laughs> Boy. Interest rates, uh, refinancing these loans are going to be problematic. But with the recent drop in rates in the last couple of days, hopefully that's uh, a sign that rates will start coming down. But Recent drop in rates, that is a sign. Let's get to it. There's definitely uh, you know, significant headwinds uh, in the marketplace. But again, it depends on what sector. So education-wise, headwinds is when it's toughness, it's facey, right? It's, it's kind of hard to go up with headwinds. Tailwinds, everything's to the back, it's easy selling. So when a person says it's headwinds, that means it's trouble ahead. If it's tailwinds, smooth sailing. Residential, multifamily, still doing relatively strong. Commercial, the B-class buildings have huge issues. The A buildings are doing very well, particularly in New York City. Um, I think there was nearly 30 deals done uh, this year above uh, $150 a foot in terms of rents. Uh, and some. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm even higher, uh, you know, hitting $200. But the older buildings, not amenitized, are the areas where uh, we're going to see problems. That's why we need conversions happening. Uh, the president announced a few weeks ago uh, significant uh, potential funding where transit. Boring. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm bored and I'm the one that's doing the content. So he made a point and the point was rates are going down. It's a sign of things to come in a positive way. So we're going to go to my baby for right now. Okay, my profiteers, my baby. Now, again, I'm a certified financial planner for my clients in real life. On these YouTube streets, I just give information. But this information might help you guys. But you want to do your research. But look at here. TMF. Oh, man. It's down by literally 90%. 90% from August 2020 to last week. Down by 90%. What is TMF? Well, basically, it is long-term treasury bonds on the aggressive side. Meaning that the value of long-term treasury bonds are down. Now, this is a leveraged ETF, very important, very risky, because leverage means if it goes up by 1%, you make 3%. If the market goes down by 1%, or in this case, if treasury bonds go down by 1%, you lose 3%. And this is not a long-term holding where you hold it for years. This is something that we get in when things are very, very low, theoretically speaking. Don't get it right all the time. But in this case, it's down by 90%. If we take a look further, just in the year 22 alone, man, it's down by 82%. What does that mean? Whenever 
rates go down, inflation goes down, long-term treasury bonds will go up, and this fund will go up three times that. And my profiteers, look at here. Oh, if we make it bigger, look. Look from a weekly chart. Whoa, from a weekly chart standpoint, look. It happened. Now, will it continue to go down? We do not know. But as we can see, my profiteers, its bottom was at 386. It's up by 27% in the past three weeks. But most important, my profiteers, look. On a weekly chart standpoint, we are now green, which means it might be a buying opportunity. Now, confirmation-wise, two people like to see two green weekly candlesticks, and people also like to see it being above its moving day average. If it gets above its moving day average, which is basically around $6, <laughs> my profiteers, you talk about some growth, it is on its way to rebound. When is that going to happen? A year? I don't know. A month? I don't know. I know one thing, though. Since it's down by so much, when and if it ever goes back up, that is a pretty big gain. How big is the gain, my profiteers? Well, just getting back to where it was January. January of 2022. Look at that, my profiteers. That is a yes, 453% return. So not getting back to where it was 2020, just getting back to where it was last year. I don't know about you guys, but for exit my money, let's say it takes six years. Now, if it takes six years for rates to go down, we are in some trouble economically. But let's say it does. Are we upset? We made over 400% in six years. That is what? Do, 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 do. Over 70% a year. For six years, nobody's upset with that, my profiteers. You're going to make a large amount of money if that happens. We don't know. But if it does, my profiteers, we're going to make some money. So as rates start to climb down and Jay Powell says, you know what? We're going to pause rates or even decrease rates next year. Look for TMF and TLT to be investments that's going to profit. When it was going down, it was painful, but now we have our profits and profits is always good. Well, my profiteers, hopefully that gives us some good information about what to do if the Fed stops rates, number one, and then decreases rates, number two. I mean, the Fed rate at 5.5%. Come on, that's the highest in almost 40 years. So whenever it starts going down, my profiteers, we're going to make us some money if we're in TLT or TMF. But talk to a certified financial planner like myself in person or via Zoom or however before you make that decision. But comment below what we think. We in TLT, we in TMF, or we staying away. As always, love is love. Let's make some paper problems together, y'all. Peace. Make a payment on your bills and you still late, yeah Pay for profits to help you seek change, uh And you just wanna get paid, yeah Tired of making no money mistakes Make a payment on your bills and you still late, uh Pay for profits to help you seek change, yeah Cut the show and just listen You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions Residual by the hours can get you a better living, uh Bitch at the check, you know and it could be different, you know